My name is Nancy Kane and I'm a historian at the Harvard Business School. I've spent about 20 years looking at the ebb and flow of companies and individuals and economies. And in this moment, in this context, let us all just take a deep yoga breath and remember where we were a year ago. Banks were collapsing, stock markets around the world were plummeting, and families sitting around kitchen tables everywhere were trying to make sense of what was happening as their house values fell, their retirement accounts were decimated, and their hopes for the future largely evaporated. At the same time that this was happening, government all over the world were channeling unprecedented sums of taxpayer money to banks and other institutions that were somehow at the center of this crisis. And not so long thereafter, a whole bunch of executives in many of those banks and financial institutions awarded themselves large, large sums of money as personal compensation. Following hard on the heels of these momentous events was a rapid fire recession that left people scared for their jobs, nervous about what would happen to their kids' futures, and more and more fearful. As the dust settled early this year, families were left in a kind of shock and awe. Consumers all over the world, but particularly in this country, were back on their heels and trying to understand why not unlike David Byrne in the movie Stop Making Sense and How Did I Get Here, why this had happened and what they had done by playing by the rules, investing their money in the stock market, saving for their retirement, and pursuing the American dream by buying a house, and how it could possibly be that they'd ended up here.